Titen Jan Chahi. Sokin Waliktech, Kabein Putzolon, Tecajo, Putzonga, Mishbiki. It is busy today. Kukulkan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Paititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us. And it should be Unuratu's line that sacrifices Kukulkan to restore the sun, and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside Baititi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Baititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. Hmm. What you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. This is a formidable weapon. Heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy. And if the blood stains are any indication, it has. Right. All full up. Can't carry any more. Through there.
must be the place Etsy mentioned. Steady, Lara, steady. You can do this. I have no choice. This one of the rebels. There's a way in somewhere. A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, through there. The smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. Tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. Unuratu is the rightful queen of Paititi. 
After a famine that nearly wiped out the city, her family was ousted from power by the cult of Kukulkan. Her husband, Sayiri, died hunting for food on the outskirts of Paititi. Amaru, or Dr. Dominguez, Sayiri's brother, felt responsible and took control of the city, using resources from Trinity to feed the Paititians until the famine passed. Even though Amaru saved the city, the cult, in his absence, now rules with arrogance and fear. Unuratu and her rebels are fighting to free the city from the cult of Kukulkan and restore its ancient bloodline. Unuratu was raised to believe it was her family's legacy, to complete the ritual of the Silver Box of Ishel and restore the sun for another age. to burn that barrier. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. Too wet. It'll need an accelerant to burn. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. enough space for that. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. Full of oil and blood. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? A barrier. <sighs> Must be a way to turn the second wheel. Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels. way to turn the second wheel.
Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place.
This must be what Trinity's missing. There's the little rebel prince. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. You're here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the butchers, the weavers, the dyers, even the teachers. All the districts are preparing. The market will be busy. Great things are on the horizon for the city and its people. We all must do what we can to help Kukulkan usher in a new world. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice. And no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It wouldn't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me.
Yalu Yantal Senkech Hoch. Hach Hosho. Hey! Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine? And had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village? Perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all, because he couldn't protect Sairi. once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Unaratu must be worried about Etsli. I have to tell her he's been captured. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. All full up, can't carry any more. Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity, and they have no mercy. All full up. Unaratu must be worried about Etsli. I have to tell her he's been captured. Barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him. I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? This is a key. It looks like... It looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box of each shell connected to the barracks? Is that why the cold occupy the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be sudden, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Etsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. 
You go after the box. Twenty-ninth of November, 1603. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night, and I regret to admit I fell asleep, for the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. True Elos, I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. What are we doing here? I never wanted this to happen, now Etsley's been captured. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Edsley's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's horn from him, you would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges.
Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Uchu says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent a rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. Here it is. I'm in. Unuratu just left with Hakan. She'll be ready when you open the gate. On the right track. Sajolale no no, vale mis balo, Belal. 
Yankoxic tu yo le cuculcal le vejo. Minja, Minma. Vale más a ti que Looks like the right place. There's the gate I need to open. Se wenti, te match de cual timich más el tise, que na, a chihuey y quenta, y tú. There's a gate I need to open. Si me sees tu laca en Kashtikon. There's a gate I need to open. There's a gate I need to open.
There's the gate I need to open. There's the gate I need to open. There's a gate I need to open. <laughs> There's a gate I need to open. 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 Ha. 
ti mesesh tu lat kal bashku pek. Tu jok la lingwolal! Kabeti ha chilik bish jani le kuchilo. Wakek mulpek sikbae, ma inkash tu shutali, ma patika chatanik, apilik awichesh. There's the gate I need to open. Sigma Spetech Hashmal of Kashikan in Wilbashko Yuchul in Wachel Kuntulkimen Kuntulin Lakosh Shimbaltesh Le Kuchila Janikashtik Mashpete Hit Petsavaish at Sone Shetanil Kubin Janikashtikon Le Kakasba Alcheov Manach kun sikvaesh, janin kashtikon, hachem peluho ke siku pole, janu luke salpi. Ay, dun alkalim yutsilesh! Janu bin impactik. Ay, dun alkalim yutsilesh! Telin willik bis janin le kutsi. Now, I need to open that gate. 